I'm going to show you how I use a uh, inactive incubating folder in OmniFocus, which is a new program from Omni Group for doing getting things done. Um, and one of the problems that I've always run into with getting things done is that um, there are lots of occasions where I'll have a project that I'm sort of putting together and that I have in the list, but it comes up in my context list and I, you know, it comes up in my to-do list and I just am not going to work on it for some reason. Uh, and it could be any reason. It could be that I don't have time. It could be... Um, it could be anything. It could be that I'm still really forming it and it shouldn't be active. So what um, what I'd like to be able to do is take that project and put it into sort of a storage container for inactive things that I might eventually become active. And so OmniFocus really allows me to do that, which is, you know, pretty cool. So what I do is um, first click on this view bar, uh, this view icon here in the toolbar, and you can see it makes this view icon, uh, view bar along the top. This is how I usually have um, my projects view set up. Uh, with active projects showing. So if I click on this and go to All Projects, um, you'll see this little incubating folder just appeared. Um, and of course, you didn't just to see it appear because I have this floating window going around capturing the screen. Um, but it just appeared. It wasn't there a second ago. So uh, if I click on the little carrot, uh, the little pull down next to it, you can see I've got a bunch of projects in here, like you know, lots and lots of projects in here that I'm not working on right now. Now, if you're going to do this just uh, as a side note, you probably should have some kind of system for eventually getting those inactive projects active. Um, and usually the way that I do that is that I, once I complete a project, um, I then go into my inactive projects folder and uh, add a new one to my active projects. And I only allow myself to have a certain number of active personal projects at, a, at any given time. So um, let me show you how this works. Let's say, for example, um, Winterize Window, which is uh, this project here. Um, of course, it only has one item because I already did a bunch of stuff in it. But um, let's say Winterize Window is something that I can't do right now. I don't have time, or maybe, um, I don't know, it's too cold out and I don't feel like going outside and you know something like that. So I want to make this project inactive. So what I do is I take this project... Uh, grab it like right here. Oh, and actually, let me just show you this really quick. Um, personal Projects High is the context for this. So if I click on my context and look at Personal Projects High, you can see um, Winterize Window, Find Way to Secure to Window is right here. So let me go back to my projects. And I want to make this inactive. So to do that, all I do is I click on it and I drag it down to Incubating. And I could even go ahead and put it into personal projects, because it's a personal project, uh, inside the incubating folder. And you'll see it became grayed out instead of being purple and as the next action like it was. If I go back to my context list, you can see in personal projects high, it is no longer here. The project is completely gone. Now what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll choose um, all projects here, and I'll say show only active projects. And now that whole list is completely invisible to me and I can completely focus just on what I actually want to be working on, which is all this wonderful stuff. So anyway, let me show you how you make that folder. So I'll just show that again. And here they all are here. So to make that folder, all that you're going to do is click on Add New Folder, name it something, and right-click on the folder and choose uh, Inactive or Active. Uh, with the checkbox next to it. And now it has this little X next to it. Now anything I jump, I drop into this folder, so let's say I drop all of these projects into that folder, all of them become inactive and they no longer show up in my to-do list. So I'm just gonna undo that because I don't actually want to make all of those inactive. Um, and so let's say now I'm all done with that and um, let's say I've done what, it, what could I have done here? Um, Eric's fight photos. So that's done, and the project is finished, so I'm going to delete it. Oop, I just hit the microphone. Sorry about that. Um, so it's done. So now I've got an open spot in my projects, uh, personal projects list. So I'll go down to incubating, take a look through my personal projects, and I'll say, oh, I've got time to do winterizing of the window. So I'll drop that in there. And now winterizing window, as you can see, is an active element in my context list again. 
and I'll just go up here and choose active and you can see all of that disappeared and I can focus just on what I have going on right now and I'll just hide that. Now the next video I do I'm going to show you how to um, what I how I use this do today list um, and perspectives which is another really cool feature of uh, this program. So anyway hope you enjoyed.